Hello, I'm Rachel Skulltalk and I'm going to be taking you through a three card reading for the week ahead. This is the week starting the 27th of November 2017 all the way through until next Monday. So I've got a couple of decks of cards out for you. I've got the Magical Mermaid deck and I've just got to grab these. These are the um, Gabrielle Bernstein, the um, universe has got your back. So let's see what comes out for you. So have you been feeling what a lot of people are feeling and feeling fatigued, weary, over it, feeling like they want a new beginning, some sort of change coming? So be really gentle with yourself if you're feeling this way. Your body, your mind, your emotions might be giving you signals that it's time to slow down and um, even spend some time in contemplation, meditation and journaling because you know, the, not just because of the calendar and what the calendar is saying or the clock is saying or, you know, it's really more about knowing internally and getting aligned with that internal radar, that clock that says to you, it's time for something different to happen. And you know yourself that if you push against it, you, you know, you try to hurry something or you, you, you resist, as soon as fear comes up and you push against what's naturally, you start to feel horrible. You might start to feel um, stuck, you feel uncomfortable, you feel upset, you feel anxious, you might have physical symptoms. So it's, you know, I really believe that our body, mind, spirit and our energy all works in together. And that by the time something shows up in your, in your body, it's actually a compassionate sign from the universe that you haven't been listening and you've got to, you've got to listen. So we've always got time, right? We've always got time to listen to what our guidance says to us. So here's a couple of cards from, oh well, from the angels and the mermaids. And let's just get one from the Gabrielle Bernstein deck, which aren't really oracle cards. Oh, we've got two here. So I'm going to have to put my glasses on for this. What a beautiful, <laughs> beautiful cards. So First up, this one says, my energy, you're not going to be able to see it because of the light. My energy creates my reality. What I focus on is what I will manifest. Now, I was only thinking and speaking about this earlier and yesterday, where we have to remember that it's like the universe is a big tape recorder. And I forget sometimes too. So whatever we're saying and doing and thinking and, and putting out there, is going to eventually get played back to us, not in as a form of punishment, but it's just because energy, it's the energy. So the energy will come back to you in some way. So you might find in a good way, you know, you're thinking about a friend you haven't seen or heard from for a long time, and you start thinking about that friend, and those vibes are going out, and suddenly the friend thinks of you and picks up the phone and gives you a call. Or you shout at somebody in traffic, and then a couple of weeks later or a day later, something, the same thing happens. You make a mistake and someone shouts at you and you feel bad. And then you go, oh, you know, because we've got to remember that we're all under the same energy laws. Nobody is different or separate or better. We're all the same. And so the quicker we get this, the, the better life turns out to be. Now, sometimes it's like it takes a bit of figuring out. It's like, how did this happen? Where did this come from? But... The important bit is, is that we, the, our energy creates our reality as this beautiful card. I love this card so much. And then the other card that came out too is the universe has my back. That is a great affirmation, isn't it? It's the title of the card deck. So you have to remember that even if you feel that everything is against you, you feel like things aren't working out for you, you feel as if you're blocked everywhere you go or that there is... Um, not enough of this, this or this for you, or you've tried 20 times and it hasn't worked. Maybe it's because you're trying to do everything by yourself. You know, there's a quote in A Course in Miracles that says, if you're, you know, if you're feeling drained, it's because you're using your own strength. You're forgetting that you've got angels. You're forgetting that you've got divine spirit, God, the universe. You're forgetting that there is so much spiritual help. You know, if you knew who walked beside you on the path that you have chosen, you would never go into fear again. You would never worry. And so the universe has your back. It's not against you. It's with you. It's trying to help you. Maybe the thing that doesn't have your back is you. So 
what would you do differently if you 100% knew that everything in this world was lined up and geared up for you to succeed rather than you to fail? What would you do differently? Do that. Would it mean that you would relax? Would it mean that you would um, say no to a few things, a few people, a few situations? I'm not saying it's it's got to be those things, but there is something going on for you that is t that you're forgetting. You're forgetting that this is a compassionate, loving universe. So onto the cards that we pulled. Well, you know how it feels when you've got like minds with you. When there's someone who really understands that you are spiritual, that talks to you on that same level, who who gets you, who isn't trying to always talk you out of doing the things you want to do. You know, someone who, who just accepts you as you are. Well, those are the people that you need to connect with this week. Whether you do that on the internet, in person, on the phone, it doesn't matter. Connect with your light minds. It's so valuable. The angels are showing me like gold coins pouring out of a funnel. It's like, it's, it's, what's that song? It's like, good friends are worth more than money in the bank. It's saying, please make a date, make time, make space in your busy schedule. The illusion of time is gro gripping us all at the moment and it's making us exhausted because we feel like we're running against a clock which seems to be going faster than we expect. And that's because a lot of things are happening. It's an energetic thing. It's an ego thing. It's our perspective. There's also something else going on. Our relationship with time has changed. You know, now, years ago, when I first traveled around Australia, when I came as a British backpacker, I sent letters to my mum and my sister and my dad and family members. Now I can send them an email, you know, and I would get those letters back. You know, I get a letter back three weeks later. Now I can get a reply the next in the next minute if I'm um, if the timing is right. So our relationship to time has changed, and I think our expectation about what we can do has has changed, and that has put more pressure on us, amongst other things that are going on at the moment. You're not imagining this feeling that time is speeding up. But you need to take the time out to go and do things that are important to you, because there's many of you out there that are just trying to pile more and more work, success, trying to get to, you're trying to run your race. And the race seems to be getting harder. It's like you're scrabbling up a gravelly mountain and you, you keep slipping backwards. And that's because you're coming from the perspective of ego, of, of comparing yourself to other people, of feeling like you should have, should have, should have done this by now, done that by now. And it's time is an illusion. Everything will happen in perfect timing. And when you actually step back from trying so hard, things start to fall into place. So when we say the universe has your back, you actually probably have to rely on it a little bit more and not, not try to run your own race so much. So you're going to get a lot out of a connection with like-minded people this week, more than you realize. Look at this. Do you realize sometimes that other people have, have higher expectations or standards for you than you have for yourself, or that you uh, have suddenly started expecting less for yourself just because you're finding it all too hard? Well, this is the universe saying, the angel saying to you, increase your standards and expect more for yourself. Don't settle. So they're not saying, hurry, go faster, um, you know, exhaust yourself. What they're saying is, raise the bar on what you allow in your life. And that includes your boundaries. It's like right now, you've got to put your stars out in the sky and say, this is what I want and I won't accept less. You know how sometimes we do tend to jump on a canoe when we're waiting for our ship to come in because we think, oh, this must be it. Oh, well, never mind that there's a few things that don't look right. I'm just going to think that this is what the universe has bought me. You know, people say to me all the time, oh, the universe gave it to me, so I just took it. Well, the universe must want me to do this, otherwise I wouldn't be here doing it. And I, I always think that sounds a bit powerless. The universe, God... And the angels want you to be in your power. If you're not in your power, nothing is going to work, including the universe helping you. So if you're in your power, expecting it all to turn out right and not being a helpless victim and not feeling like, you know, I think many of us are probably born again monks or aesthetics where we, we lived a life like that, where we just allowed, you know, things to happen in previous lifetimes. But don't forget every lifetime you've been through has given you the wisdom. And so you're 
wiser in this lifetime than you were in your past lives. I think lots of people think that they were wiser in their past lives because they were a Native American or an Egyptian goddess or a, a goodness knows what. They think that, oh, I must have been wiser then, but you're actually wiser now because you've been through those lifetimes and you've gathered the wisdom and now you're living another lifetime. So if you're, you've got to raise your standards on what you expect for yourself or what you allow for yourself and start to create a life of heaven on earth. That's what I'm hearing from your angels. Your angels are with you always. They are part of you. You have a soul, you have angels. There's no way your soul doesn't come with any angels. doesn't matter who you are, what you've been through, what you've done. Everyone's got angels. Not everyone listens to their angels, of course. So the fact that you're a spiritual being having a physical experience means that as soon as you click into that physical self, instead of the ego spiritual self, instead of the ego physical self, sorry, you click into your angels, you tune into them. If you're completely wedged into one perspective, if it's only physical, I've got to worry about my money, I've got to worry about my health, I've got to worry about my house, I've got to worry about my clothing, what I look like, how old I am, all of those things are linking you only into the physical. You've got to remember you're an eternal being and you've lived many lifetimes. As soon as you go into that, then you invoke, you come back into your power and you invoke that angelic help because you've remembered it. You're only, you've only been coming from one perspective before. So set your sights higher. I'm noticing in a lot of people, there's a lot of kind of setting up an insurance for disappointment. If I don't expect too much, then... I can't be disappointed. And that is actually a lie because if, you, if you're doing that, then you're already setting yourself up for disappointment anyway. And, it, you know, you're just trying to lower your standards. You've got to heighten your standards. So the universe can... So maybe that's one of the reasons why you're feeling like you haven't been getting what you wanted because you haven't been aiming high enough. Self-employment. How many of you have been thinking about going into self-employment? This is a... This is a big sign, a big message. If you're already self-employed, there's changes coming to the way that you've been working and things that you've been offering. You can offer more but do less. This is a celebration card too. I don't always look at just the um, just the words. There, there's also this amazing picture of this mermaid emerging from choppy water with, um, you know, she's got her arms in the air. It's like she's celebrating. It's up to you to take charge of your life. And the universe will back you all the way. But if you're not actually going, driving the machine, you're not going forward, then the universe can't back. It, it will respond to the vibe that you're sending out rather than what you're saying, what you're thinking, what you're doing. The actual what, it's the vibe of what. So it looks like a really, really positive week. A week where you have to sort of go against your natural grain, which might be to go, 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 do, 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 more, more, more where really it's a week of bit of contemplation, a bit of thinking about how you can reshape your dreams and also about getting together with friends, talking about things with like minds, really connecting on a heart level and not stressing about time. You'll find some of that exhaustion goes away when you stop stressing about time. You're already here. The worst of it's over. <laughs> I, that's just what they just said to me. The worst of it's over. You're already here. There is no struggle left. Isn't that interesting? So I'm sending you lots of love for a wonderful week ahead. And angel blessings. Ask the angels for help with everything. Ask the universe to back you and accept that help. Accept. Let it in and relax. I will be posting a different reading card every day on to Instagram. Um, if you don't already follow me, it's Rachel Skoltok. You can also find those messages on my Facebook pages. And um, if you'd like to sign up to have the weekly newsletter with angel inspiration, uplifting information, and this video every Monday in your inbox, just go to my website. You'll get two free meditations straight away when you sign up. I'm making big plans for Uluru this year. Um, next year, May 2018, angels at Uluru. We're going to be doing some meditation, some healing, some connecting to the angels and spirit, and really getting some guidance through and it's a magical place. Please join me. Have a great week.